This is what the Portage County city of Garrettsville looked like one year ago today as flames destroyed its historic downtown district. Today, the town is working to emerge from those ashes. News Channel 5's Nick Foley is just back from Garrettsville. And Nick, how is that recovery going? Well, Tracy, the people in Garrettsville are still very affected by the devastation one year later, as you can imagine. And while many told me it actually helped bring in an already tight-knit community closer together, some admit there is still a long way to go. In the blink of an eye, a fixture in the heart of Garrettsville, some parts more than 150 years old, gone, destroyed by massive flames. Images that one year later are still so vivid for so many. It looked like a war zone. Yeah. Seriously. Looked like a bomb went off. Yeah, right. Memories dashed for brothers Jim and Gary Irwin, whose family owned a hardware store in parts of the buildings for more than 51 years. Probably more grief than anything or heartache because uh, there's a lot of memories there, you know. My brother and I, well, my dad owned it even before that. Now, just one building remains where history once stood. Garrettsville Mayor Rick Patrick says it could be home to one or two businesses in the next few months, but the rest of the rebuilding will take time. And I tell people to be patient because it's not going to happen overnight. It's only been a year, and uh, it's going to take a lot of planning and a lot of money to do this. A wait, Jim Irwin says, will be worth the time if it helps this historic town reclaim some of its lost identity. Sure hope that they uh, rebuild somehow, sometime soon, but <clears throat> wishing it and seeing it are two different things, you know. And the cause of the fire was never determined. 13 businesses were affected in that blaze. Live in the newsroom, Nick Foley, News Channel 5.